fuck these decks. I never want to fucking face them for the rest of my life. There are always those trolling fucking decks out there. And there are four, there are four that shine upon me. That just aim to fuck me. The first, yes, Exodia, Burn, Empty Jar, and Final Countdown. I haven't seen much of Empty Jar though. The difference with Empty Jar is it mainly focuses on Morphing Jar. What they do is just basically it's like, really oh, I play Shallow Grave. Bring back Morphing Jar if I get it in the grave somehow, if we get rid of it somehow, and I take a little bit of damage. And then I basically out? just, huh? How do you search it out? I think they play Gold Sarcophagus to get it, and they have all the ways of just getting it out, because their the deck trims. Yeah, and the different because they'll just play like shit like I'm sorry they'll trim down their deck and they'll mainly just get that one card then they'll set it then they'll play shit like Book of Eclipse Book of the Moon anything to switch the, the, the ACD Charger card switching the shit from attack and then making your opponent deck out and I feel like each one of these decks it's like what the fuck is wrong with you I really feel like each one of these is completely fucking unfair and is not what the game is about decking out your opponent isn't fun. I don't see how it's just like, ha, 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 I really showed him. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I'm better than you. See, I'll, best start, than you. I'll first start with Empty Jar. I feel like focusing on Morphing Jar and focusing on just decking out your opponent, I don't find that fun. You're supposed to beat your opponent with like, a duel I always can I feel like a duel is supposed to go hand in hand. You're fighting back with your opponent and your opponent just gets that one lucky punch and that's how they win. They win by the luck of the draw. They win with combos. And I feel like that's not a combo, that's you just sitting on your fat ass. Watch me what I could do. That's what you do, they just play more of a job. I'm it up, I'm it down, I'm it up, I'm it down. It's like they're playing with like a fucking light switch. It's like, here, face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, fuck you, you lost. There's a special place in hell for people who use trolling decks. Yeah, on, 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 unrated, on, on, on unrated. Unrated online dueling. I can understand if you're unrated and you go up against like a spellbook player or a dragon ruler and you're using that deck, they deserve it. <laughs> But if you're on unrated, what the fuck are you doing? There are people testing decks out there. <laughs> yeah. Boy, you're, you're, a, you're going to hell. And there's a special place in hell for you. You're going to burn for eternity. That's what I have to say. Now, the thing is, you see, Empty Draw, I said my thanks for Empty Draw. Final Countdown is probably one of the least ones that I... Because it's beatable. <laughs> see, Final Countdown, the Final Countdown thing is like, I'll do the same thing, but instead of focusing on Morphing Jar, I focus on getting Final Countdown as quickly as possible. Play it, and then they're just like, Battle Fader, Battle Fader, Battle Fader, Swiss Scarecrow, uh, Wabaku, Threatening Roar, uh, Gores, One Day of Peace. They'll just basically play all things like that to just basically like, yeah, you can't touch me this turn. You can't touch me, and then the, you know, the turns are up, and then it's just like, did I win? Is it over? <laughs> And they're like, oh, I, I won. It's the final countdown. Uh, 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 and here, hey, hey, Dick, did you just see my move? I, I totally beat him. Can you hear play for Ray's last song? There are different forms of burn. And you're a bitch because you use burn. Dick. I did use burn. Did? I, I, I still don't play burn right now. Oh, but yeah. I, a burn has always held a special place in me. I always like burn. I always say that everyone's given one deck one troll deck to play. I never played Final Countdown, never played Empty Draw or Exodia. Yeah, yeah, finish the sentence. I like fucking only like type of the, the closest thing to a troll deck I ever had. Final. Yeah, <laughs> no. exactly. Final. Yeah, I can't even use that anymore, so but you see, for me, it's just like as for burn, burn I think is unfair because of the most form of burn, which is chain burn. And chain burn, you see, the difference is I like burning monsters. Back then I grew up with Solar Flare Dragon and the Fire Structure deck and shit like that, and that's what I liked. And then I like shit like Marshmallow and Stealth Bird, those kind of burn cards. Nowadays it's like, oh, J Justice Arts, uh, a chain, chain link strike, uh, <laughs> Uh, Secret Barrel or Jama Trio, uh, and, and I, I just feel like that's just like, like I'm on the other end, like, 
It, it's it's a, a card cool. I hate the most when it comes to burn decks that I fucking hate. Card card day. No, Lava Golem. I love Lava Golem. I fucking hate Lava Golem. I hate Lava Golem. I've hated Lava Golem for such a goddamn long time. I hate Lava Golem. I don't know why I never made Lava Golem is the out to anything. Lava Golem should be a side decking card. Because it's just like, I'll play Drago Sack, I'll play Big here's Lava Golem. I'll play Sheen and Barkan, here's Lava Golem. I'll play Quasar and then here's Lava Golem. I mean, anything that's fucking the worst thing in the world, here's a Lava Golem. But, you see, I, I never had much of an issue with Burn, except the different versions of Burn that were around. I just never liked the concept of Chain Burn, and Chain Burn is the most common, because it's like, it's all trap cards, and it's like, I, 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 I like a deck full of monsters, and I just hate fucking Chain Burn, because it's just like, their deck, it's like, it's all for this. Set it all, and do his maximum amount of Burn at once. And I'm just like, did you even want a challenge from me? Or do you... I feel no. like I feel like people that use troll decks are very insecure people that just need a win to make themselves feel better. I think I was going up against Empty Jar, and I literally wrote to the guy. I was like on Death Row, and I wrote in thing, "You obviously need this win more than me," because that's how I feel. If you're throwing troll, I, you see, I'm the kind of person where I play original. I, really, I play original decks that I choose to play. I don't play top tier, top zero. I mean, I just want to have fun. If you want to play troll decks, you need this win more than I do. You went that deep in just because somebody probably morphin jarred you on your alien deck? Because <laughs> all you You know, need this win more than I do. <laughs> I morphin jarred you because I have one morphin jar on one of my decks. Yeah, but that's not a troll deck. Your deck wasn't I know, a troll deck. I know, but because I did it, it just fucked you all up. So I can see somebody doing that to you once, and God forbid they did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, no, I, ah! <laughs> you see, besides that, then there's Exodia. Exodia, there yet again, there's alternate forms, but the most common is the ones that, there are three. There's the one that focuses on that field spell where it's just like, and a royal, uh, Magical library. Oh, draw, 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 draw. And then there's the one with blue eyes, white stone of the legend, uh, cause of consonants, trade in. And there's the. Yeah, and then there's the last one, which is with. Uh, the last one is with. It's with that trap card where it's just like, oh, you pay a thousand and the difference between the life points, you got to draw multiple cards. It's a card that's not very seen in any other deck except okay. for Exodia. And then I'm just like, I hate it because it's like, all these decks, they don't do anything. I hate decks that are one-trick ponies. They don't know how to do anything outside of doing one boring, boring fucking move. And I wish that each one of you people that watch this video, if you're watching this and you're playing a troll deck, go fuck yourself. They're playing because for fun, though. I don't mean it. I mean it. I love how you I play it for fun. To have what? Help you sleep at night? Because you can't fucking win with anything else? That's mainly what it basically is. If you play a troll deck, you can't, you're basically saying, I can't win with anything else and I'm afraid of a challenge. Because you, when you're playing shit like that, like, oh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to give my opponent a chance to do something because they could actually do something. But. I'm going to play Wabaku in there because I, I, I can't take the hit. Grow some balls. Do something. Fuck that shit. Exodia, Burn, Final Countdown, and Empty Jar are boring fucking decks. Yeah, but they how are about not this? creative. They are dull, and they're called troll decks for a reason. How would you feel if you went to a locals or a tournament yeah. and somebody used one in real life? I'd look at him dead in the face, and I'd be like, seriously, motherfucker? Yeah. Your move. <laughs> Your turn. I would get, I'd get up and I'm just like, you need this win more than me. You scoop? Yeah. I win. I'm going to Nats. <laughs> I'm going to Nats. <laughs> then they go to Nats. They spend all their money to go to Nats. And then Dragon Rules, I beat you. <laughs> Do you think they can beat you? What happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I think it can. Cause, cause if you I look, think Burn Dex can beat Dragon Rules. Because if you just look at this, like all those decks are one trick ponies. They have the ability, they have the ability to win games. It's obvious. That's what. I think they yeah. can be but it's like all of them have side, you know, siding against them. They could be fucked with. 
In matches. Yeah, in matches they really kind of like fall at the knees. So then your opponent's not stupid. And, but you see, I'm the kind of person where when I see them first game, I'm like, I don't even want to waste my fucking time for you. I need to, because I feel like I need a challenge. I need to fucking get my armor, you know, busted. I need, I need to get like, I need to lose. But when I see oh, no, no extra, extra deck, deck. Yeah. no extra deck, when I see zero, I'm like, that's the main giveaway. Because final countdown, Exodia, Burn, none and Exodia, none of those decks, out of all four, Empty Jar, Exodia, Burn, and final countdown, none of them use an extra deck. I leave. Right from the beginning. I don't even give it a try. I don't even give it a shot because my mindset is like this. If they're playing any of those troll decks, I don't even want to waste my fucking time. I'd rather go up against someone that will actually give me a challenge and I actually get a good fight out of. If I'm going up against someone that, and even if they have a zero card extra deck and they're not playing it and they're playing a 40 card deck, then they're probably stupid anyway because if you don't play any exceeds or synchros or fusions or something, and not giving anything a try, you're not really that good to begin with. So that's why I, that's how I feel about fucking troll decks. If you play a fucking troll deck, go fuck yourself. I don't give a fuck what you fucking say. If you agree with me and you think troll decks are fucking annoying as fuck and you really are like fuck dueling this and you agree with me, like this video. If this video gets about 80 likes, we will continue to make more just average videos with me and Spidey.